this anti-racist movement, yes. which is the roots of it, you know, because people don't fucking know anything about anything anymore. They just hear a skinhead and they immediately think it's so fucking Nazis, you know. It's mm -hmm. untrue, and uh, that's not the roots of that culture. So getting back to Joe Strummer, it was like, you know, um, he's a, uh, he kind of, uh, you know, took that like multiculturalism idea and really worked on it. And, uh, and like, you, know, you listen to Sex Pistols, it's pretty maniacal and monolithic. It's basically one song, <laughs> which is fantastic. And I love, I love it. It's just that thing there, you know, but Clash is so diverse and it's diverse from album to album and they're all valuable and, and incredible. And, uh, uh, well, maybe except for the last album <laughs> of the Clash where, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that is so, you know, the should I stay or should I go, that was still really great. But that song was already about, I mean, Mick Jones wrote a song about Joe punching him in the face backstage and saying, <laughs> so it was like, do, do you want me in a band or should I go? Yeah. <laughs> That's what the song is about. And uh, eventually Mick left and then Joe was just high as fuck for a while and <laughs> kicked everybody else out of the band who was good. <laughs> and uh, so the last record was, uh, uh, it was just like getting a bunch yeah, of guys from Guitar yeah. Center, you know, like, <laughs> 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 you know, like, let's get some more. Let's get the more and get him in the clash. <laughs> He's a well-punk man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, nothing, nothing stays the same, man. Shit yeah. just changes. In fact, uh, no, they called it, uh, the last record called Cut, Cut the Crap. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they meant it one way, but people were like, wow, you really fucking <laughs> did Cut the Crap. <laughs> <laughs> but this doesn't take away from any glory of the clash, because they were uh, just ferocious, you know. And it does remind me of kind of a funny story when I was with DJ Scratchy. I lost my passport once on tour in London, so I was in London for a couple extra days, staying with him, and we went for a dinner in a small uh, Thai restaurant that were like tables were like literally like so close to each other, you could hear people talk next to you very well. And uh, next to us was sitting a couple that, you know, we weren't paying too close of attention. We were just riffing our own thing. And of course, I was kind of interviewing Scratchy about touring with The Clash and kind of everything yeah. I ever wanted to know about The Clash and yeah. what else is up, you know? So he was just telling me, and of course, we got to the topic of last album of The Clash. Clash when, you know, they cut the crap and fucking, yes, they fucking did cut the crap. What the fuck, Joe, why did he have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> the last album was terrible. And after about like 30 minutes of riffing on that, the guy next table with us, <laughs> with his girlfriend sitting there, the guy just slams both fists on the table and goes, guys, will you please shut the fuck up? I was the drummer in the last line of the class. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my birthday. <laughs> 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 <laughs>